One of Portugal's leading intellects, Dr. Meniz has founded a political party and served as foreign minister. Now, he's going to solve the problem of mental illness and make life in asylums more bearable. I promise I'm gonna be a good girl. I promise you. Please, please, please. <laughs> Asylums were essentially for warehousing patients, patients who represented either a danger to themselves or to society. They are chronically underfunded, they're understaffed, and they're not really about therapy. They're really to get unsafe people off the streets. For the mentally ill outside of asylums, there is no help. This is a period of time when there are no effective treatments. And physicians are desperate to provide help to individuals and to their families. Meniz has a radical plan to cut into the brains of mental patients to alter their behavior. A technique inspired by American research he's seen on monkeys. It really is a very simple procedure. He wants to sever the frontal lobes from the rest of the brain, an operation now known as a prefrontal lobotomy. There is some resistance to the blade, but with a, a firm hand, it goes in smoothly into the flesh of the brain. And then... Meniz's young colleague, Dr. Diogo Furtado, is fascinated. That's incredible. These are the frontal lobes of the brain, and they're responsible for important tasks like decision-making, short-term memory, and aspects of your personality. Now, you can survive without them, but without them, you're not really you. So what Monitz was trying to do is separate them from the rest of the brain. And what were the results like? Well, what, what I saw was extraordinary. The monkeys lost all symptoms of frustration and anxiety. He wasn't exactly sure why it happened, but it affected behavior, it changed how they acted. The only problem is that once cut, they can't be uncut. The only thing that remains is for us to find a human test case. <laughs> 